hi guys and welcome to this new youtube video in this youtube video i will be giving a detailed update on bitcoin on the current state of bitcoin i will be giving some potential scenarios that i'm looking at for bitcoin and i will be explaining to you guys why the price is moving how it is currently moving because as we can see since we had a retest of 46k we have been coming down very very hard and we have seen another dip of 21 percent well i'm not gonna dive too deep into uh, into it right now but we all know that it is because of the current tension between russia and the united states about the conflict between russia and ukraine so we're not gonna dive into that we're gonna look at the technical state of bitcoin so a potential scenario that i'm currently looking at is this is a potential liquidity grab below the previous lows because if we remove this and we remove this we can see that we have two previous lows for bitcoin we have this one right here and we also have this one right here well what you often see is that bitcoin goes below the previous low where a lot of stop losses of people are there so we have a lot of stop losses of potential long positions right here and right here below the previous lows of bitcoin and what the price often does is break the previous low grab the liquidity close the candle above the previous low in which we stop out a lot of people out of their long positions and then we have a bounce towards the upside so we can see that potential scenario happening below either this low right here or below this low right here. This is why I have two boxes of liquidity marked on my chart with these bounces right here. So that is definitely a potential scenario that I'm looking at for Bitcoin because we can get everybody bearish by breaking the previous lows. And instead of going down further and people opening new short positions, we trap them in their short positions. And from off that point, we bounce towards the upside. So that is the first scenario that I'm looking at for Bitcoin. But what if we do bounce from there? What is a potential scenario even further towards the upside? Well, let's look at this. Because this right here is very interesting. Let's say we bounce of this liquidity box right here this zone right here what we are looking at is the volume profile of the current range that we are trading in which you can find right here the fixed range volume profile and this shows you how many orders are getting into the market at a certain price level so the bigger the volume bar the more orders there were at this at a certain price level and the more it will act as resistance or support so what we see right here is a big gap of volume we are missing a lot of volume right here at this complete gap right here and this is where you often see an acceleration of the price of bitcoin or altcoins but in this case we're looking at bitcoin so let's say we break the level right here let's say we break this level right here we could see a very very quick acceleration in between this area right here so that is already a quick 6.7% we have to close a four hour candle above this level and then in my opinion we could see a quick acceleration because we are missing a lot of volume and then the next resistance will be the point of control of our range where the more, most amount of volume has been coming into the market so this is very interesting definitely something that i'm looking at for a potential long position for bitcoin this entire volume gap right here is something that you love to see on a chart so that's also something i'm looking at if we zoom out a bit and we look at big support and resistance levels for bitcoin we can currently see we are trading in between support and resistance levels for bitcoin on our higher term time frame so still the most important level for bitcoin is the 46k level right here 
Why? Because it was the low of the previous range right here in which we have a, seen a big rejection of that level twice right there. So that is beautiful price action. That is a level that I'm looking to break in order to see continuation towards the next level of resistance which is around 52k because it was the range high of this range right here and we have seen three massive rejections at that level so also a big level of resistance that i'm looking at and then the third level of resistance is if we zoom in what we call the drop off point so at this drop off point we have seen a massive massive move towards the downside of 27 percent and that is what we call the drop off point and that always acts as massive resistance if we go back towards that price level which is around 58k so these are the levels of resistance that i'm looking at if we look at potential support levels we are looking at two important volume levels because if i remove the rectangles from my chart and we apply the fixed range volume profile of the entire range that bitcoin is currently trading in we do it a little bit like this we can see that these volume levels are very very important for bitcoin if we look at this we can see that here we have the point of control right here where the most amount of volume has been coming into the market and if i adjust this one a little bit towards the upside we can see that we have a big volume bar right here as well in which we get a smaller volume bar afterwards so we can see this as a gap of volume as well just like we were talking about it previously so these two volume levels are two levels that i'm definitely looking at for bitcoin because it is a point of control and a very big volume spike in which we get a smaller volume bar afterwards so that is around 34.3k and 31.8k then last but not least we have the massive massive supply and demand zone for bitcoin which is right here around 29.5 towards 28.5k this level right here is a level that we don't want to break for bitcoin and as long as we hold on to that level i am still macro bullish on bitcoin and i am expecting the price to hit 54 and 58k no matter what and from of that point we will see if we go on further towards the upside or if we see a further dip towards the downside so that is in my opinion the current state of bitcoin and if we look on the lower time frame we can also see something very interesting which is a widening wedge so a megaphone pattern i'm calling it this is a widening falling wedge in which we have bounced beautifully from off the lower low trend line and we are currently trying to make a move towards the lower high trend line in which we will find some resistance at the trend line right over there but this is a very interesting pattern in which we could maybe see something like this happening because this right here is an important level as well as you can see with the current rejection so we could maybe see something like this happening for bitcoin and then move on towards the big big volume gap right over here so that is definitely something i'm also looking at this pattern but this is on the lower time frame but on the higher time frame i'm still macro bullish on bitcoin and let's see what happens for bitcoin so this was my youtube video this was my bitcoin update very detailed very detailed explanation i hope you guys enjoyed the video and that you guys learned something about it and that it also calms you down about the current state of bitcoin if you did like this video make sure to smash up that like button subscribe to my youtube channel and also make sure to check out my twitter instagram and website my links you can find in the description i'm also running my own private discord group in where i teach people to trade and give potential trade setups so make sure to check that one out as well on my website and i hope to see you guys on the next one